Welcome to its Rafik. In today's video, we will discuss about MySQL Chapter 3 database, which is also called as MySQL. We'll discuss here very basic questions with practical. Also related question, which question may come in theory examination. At first, we will learn how we can see the version of the server. First, we have to open the MySQL server for that we'll click on start. I am showing you it on Windows 10. After that, you will type the uh, type as my SQL. If MySQL is already installed in your computer, then it will display like it MySQL command line client. And if it is not installed, then you will not able to see it. So I have already installed. Now asking my password. My password is I think one two three four. Okay, it's correct. At first, we will check one question. Suppose the question is this one. I will write the question in Notepad. Uh, for that, we'll type here in Run menu Notepad, and let it be full screen. The question is write the SQL command to view the version of mysql server so this is the question how we will do it we have to see the version of mysql server which is already installed in our computer so to do this we will write this command select version v e r s i o n after that bracket on and off then semicolon and remember semicolon terminate the mysql query or it is also we can say it execute the mysql query here we can see my server version is 8.0.26 now we will go to next question here we'll see how we can see the existing databases the question will be uh, this one answer is select version then semicolon now number two question write the sql command to view the or to see the existing databases means i want to see which database are already available in our server so we'll go to the mysql server for that we'll write the command as so after that d a t a b a s e s then semicolon so it will display my already available database i have this database is employee information schema club mark mysql organization performance schema practice school and sys so total nine databases are there so we will write the query as so databases now next command Suppose we have to create a new database. The question will be like that. Write the SQL command to create a new database named hospital. So this is our question. We have to write the SQL command to create a new database which name is hospital for it we will write this command first we'll write create after the database then the name of the database database name is hospital so h o s p i t a l and remember mysql is not case sensitive so we can write either capital or small letters it does not matter then semicolon to execute and enter key it's Come query okay that means our command work perfectly 
so the answer will be create database hospital the same note will be available as uh, in pdf form in my telegram channel if you have uh, already joined in that particular group you can discuss among yourself some practical related questions even if you have any confusions related to questions you can ask there directly we are helping each others in that group and in the channel you will get the notes here is the group my laptop is uh, almost 10 years old so does not work perfectly it takes time to open okay i'm showing my group now we are coming to next question next question after creating our database we have to select the database because as you can see here i already had nine databases now i have created one new so now i will have 10 databases see here i have total 10 databases so in which database i am working we have to give command then only the server will understand for that we'll have to go to the first we'll go to notepad we'll write the question first the question will be write the sql command to activate the database Sometimes it is also called as to select the database hospital. And remember, this hospital word will be changed. Okay. In question paper, instead of hospital, you may have school also. So, according to the question, the answer will change. Suppose here the question came, write the SQL command to create a new database name school. Then the answer will be create database school. I hope you have understood. Now we have to select the database hospital. So we'll see how we can select it. For that we'll write use after that the name of the database. I want to select hospital. So H O S P I T A L hospital. Database change this reply came that means my current database is hospital now suppose i want to go to another database that is school just we'll write use school now my current database is school so this way we can select our databases and remember after use command we write the database now database name answer will be use school also the hospital now we will go to the next question which is related to creation of database only write the sql command to delete the database hospital how we can do it write the sql command to delete the database hospital we have to write the command to delete the database hospital delete and remember when we are deleting our database it's deleting everything inside it whatever tables information whatever are in stored stored inside the database everything will be deleted and it is not reversible unless you have keep a backup copy so we have to be careful while we are deleting the database just uh, don't randomly delete the uh, database sometime it may affect you and when you are using mysql server in computer and suppose from in school and if your school using server means in one cpu only many computers are connected at that moment what you can do you can delete the dat any databases from there so there also be careful maybe in that particular database some other student is working so again i have warned you that uh, deleting database is permanent it cannot be reverse we cannot undo it as in ms word if we do some mistake by pressing ctrl z we can reverse it but here we cannot do it. so remember it we have to delete the database hospital so we'll write drop 
drop command is used to delete the structure of the table or delete the complete database this is remember after drop we have to remember whether it is a table or a database as we are deleting database so we'll write database after that name of the database hospital i'm going to delete so hospital then semicolon query okay that means my database is deleted answer will be drop database hospital so these five are the questions which is related to creation of database and from here i can give guarantee that at least one question will come in examination so remember the queries and i have said many times that hospital is just an example word here and that in place of hospital whatever question is there that uh, word will come in question if it is said that the database name is school then instead of hospital you will write school so remember that part now we will move to the next question <clears throat> move to the next part of the chapter creation of table how we can create a table tables are known as building blocks of a database they are used uh, and we can create a table by writing create table command remember this this answer can be for just one mark if it is comes for two mark then you can write from book it's nicely given there you can elaborate the answer now suppose asking me to create a table with the following information I am writing the question first. Create a table name student with following description. Okay. And suppose uh, the details are given here field name and uh, after that it is a data type then size and constraint and suppose the first field name is roll number then data type is given as integer and size for integer we don't give any size so for integer there will be no size and constraint is giving us primary key okay and next field is name data type is giving as worker and size is given as 20 after that constraint is given as not null then suppose date of birth the data type is given as date there will be no size for date and constraint nothing so this is first question will be like that write the sql command to create the table name school sorry student so we have to create this table and the table name will be student there will have three columns the first column is roll number which data type is integer second column is name which data type is worker and third column is date of birth now first we'll learn how we can create this table first we'll write create table after create table we'll write name of the table our table name is student so student then we will keep bracket that opening bracket and this is simple one remember after that we can continue in same line or we can go to next line it's according to you i am going to the next line we will write the first column name the first column name was rule after that we will give one space 
then data type which is int after that the constraint which is primary key then we'll give comma then we'll write the next field name which is name the data type was worker so v a r c h a r and in your book you may have got that there are two data type of for string worker and character worker it is variable character and character it is for fixed length of character in worker we can save memory spaces but character it as it take exact memory space so it consume more space and character is fast but worker is slow remember that part it is very important for theory answers so name worker and the constraint was not null and not null means not specified value here null means not specified value and not null means we have to give the value we cannot keep the field empty when user enter data into the table the user must give some value the user cannot skip that particular field now we'll go to the next line here we will write the third field which is dob means date of birth data type was date and there was no constraint so we'll write nothing after that we'll close the bracket we started at first line then to execute the query we'll keep give semicolon then we will hit the enter key to execute the command query ok came that means my table is successfully created so this command we will write to create the table we'll copy it and i am writing the answer here the command will be this one and uh, i have uh, seen many students write the arrow mark also in answers you no need to write the arrow mark it comes automatically in the server you no need to mention the arrow mark this will be the answer now next question suppose this question is write the sql command to display the structure of the table now we have to display the structure of the table means the output should be similar to this way we have to see the structure of it so how we'll do it for that we can write describe or desc desc then the table name as our table name was student so student then semicolon now we'll go to the server we'll see whether it's work or not we will write desc student then semicolon we can see here our complete information about the table here see null here given no no because we have set not null and here null we don't write anything and it is given yes by default all the fields are null but if we sit, set it as primary key it becomes not null remember it now the next question write the sql command to insert one record to the table okay first we'll write the question here write the SQL command to enter one record to the table. This answer how we'll write? First we'll practice on the server. We'll write insert after that we'll give one space then into together then the table name our table name is student so student then values after that bracket now remember when we are writing integer value we don't have to write inverted comma or quotation and uh, when we are writing other information like date of birth name and all then we have to give inverted comma or quotation and the uh, inverted comma maybe in single or double if you are giving double all the values you give double if you are giving symbol all the values you give single now roll number as it is an integer we will not give any inverted comma just the number and the name here we'll give inverted comma i'm giving single inverted comma and the name suppose it is uh 
Aryan inverted comma close then again one comma and date of birth and while we write the date of birth the format is year month and day so first I will write the year as 2008 then days month as 12 and day suppose it's a uh, 15 then inverted comma close and I have only three fields in that particular table so I am writing three values it's done so I can close the bracket and remember here roll number first then name then date of birth this series should be followed inside the bracket this rule number we cannot write in second position name cannot be in first position that particular uh, sequence should be followed now semicolon and press enter key. query ok that means my code run successfully we'll copy this command and paste it into the answer so this is the answer now suppose i want to see what information i have entered i want to see it from the table for that we will write select command select will write asterisk symbol asterisk means star that means i am selecting all the command all the columns then from then the table name table name is student so student as i have just one record so i will see only one record in that particular table see here one row one aryan and the date of birth so this way we can create a table in next video we will talk about alter command if you have any confusion from today's uh, explanation you can write in comment sometime even i make some mistake please do me correct in comment sections because i have a very bad habit i never prepared for my explanation or lesson or whatever you say i directly start my video without any preparation so sometimes i make some mistakes this is my bad habit and I don't have that much uh, what you can say mm, okay in next video we are going to learn about alter command and uh, many of you are asking me about a uh, sample paper for practical examination definitely in one two days I'll make it it takes some time to make I'll make it and you can practice on that paper Thank you for watching, see you in a new video, till then take care and bye.